Nothing but bad this in here tonight Oh, if you let me, you know it, be quiet Nothing but real news so Alright, dolls I'm here with All About Primers for Beginners. Make sure you go check out how to do the perfect, how to get the perfect brows and how to do a natural eye look, including lashes for beginners. I will leave the video, the link to those videos in the description box below. But today we're going to talk about primers and I'm going to talk about the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm and then the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. So I have pretty normal skin but I do get oily around my nose a little bit, my chin and my forehead. But since I have pretty normal skin I like to always focus on texture so I always like to focus on any smoothing primer or anything like that. So I like to take the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and put it on my cheeks, my forehead and my chin. And I literally just kind of buff it in. And this primer is also good for combination skin as well. I'm not going to use the cooling shave balm today, but I do want to talk about it. This is really good for combination to oily skin. It really, once you put it on, it gets tacky. That's when you know you're ready to apply your foundation. But I do like to use this if I'm like going out somewhere and I know I'm going to be oily or I know I'm going to be in a humid area. I will, I do like to use this. However, on an everyday basis, I do like to just go in with my smoothing primer from Makeup Forever. That way I just get a smooth texture and it is a little bit mattifying so I don't have to worry about any oils breaking through or anything like that. But ladies, just always make sure that you stay true to your skin type. If you have dry skin, you can go with a more moisturizing primer or illuminating primer, which means it has a little glisten and glitter to it. That way it's very illuminate, illuminating and revitalizing to the skin. If you're, if you're a combination, you can pretty much go with like a smoothing primer, a hydrating primer. You can either you can pick out really what you want if you have like normal to combination skin. If you have oily skin, just make sure you go with anything that's mattifying. I don't have oily skin, so I can't show you dolls. But if you have any more questions on primers, just let me know in the description box below. After primers, I like to go in with a color corrector just to color correct the darkness of my face. And I like to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime Pen. And it looks like that, so it is yellow. It is orange base. Orange base corrects darkness, so I like to apply it under my eyes, around my nose, and then around my mouth. Just anywhere you have darkness. And what it will do is kind of correct so that when you add your foundation on top, it doesn't look ashy. So you just add that all over. Today I'm going to be talking about my two favorite foundations and it is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS and the Maybelline Dewy Smooth Fit Me Foundation. I like to mix these foundations because the All Day Luminous is for oily skin which I am normal but I do like the staying power of that. Most foundations that's made for oilier skin types last a little longer in my opinion. So I like to mix it with the Dewy Smooth. The Dewy Smooth is more for normal to dry skin so it kind of gives me a more dewy texture that's more skin like so I like to mix these foundations because I kind of just get the ba bolt the best of both worlds and I do like to apply my foundations with a beauty blender because I feel like it gives me a nice coverage but it goes on very seamlessly and the sponge I like to use is the Real Technique sponge is look like this you put it under water soak it up and it gets super super fluffy so I'm going to go ahead and mix these foundations on the back of my hand. One is darker and one is lighter, but together they make the perfect tone for me. With my foundation, I like to start off right here around my mouth where I have a lot of discoloration. Then I just go on my nose and then work my way on my jawline. I don't really like to go under my eyes because... I don't want a lot of product under there only because we're adding concealer so you don't want to cake up product on your face because it looks more natural when you only cover what you need to cover so just make sure you blend it out and I like to use the other side just to take away that shine 
so dolls that is how you get a even base using your foundation and that is what I use for foundation so if you have any more questions about foundation finding your shade or type like that let me know in the comment section below and I will be sure to an answer any questions you have make sure you tune in tomorrow about contouring and highlighting that way you get a more in-depth tutorial on how I contour and highlight for my face and what products I use for contouring and highlighting I love you dolls and I will see you in my next video super, super dark so I'm just adding a, a little bit so it should look like that just a little darkness on the corner that's how you get that smoky effect